Welcome back to another Fallout 76 base build. Now again we are building in a pre-made structure and this is very close to Vault 76. I will show you the map shortly where it is. If you haven't already seen yes, the last video we built in the Red Rocket, now we're building in a garage. Now a lot of people are asking what the point of these. Basically your build budget is cut in half in some instances when you use these. Now in this garage in particular it comes with a power armor bench and a chemistry bench straight off the bat. So, straight away, if you're restarting a new character, you don't have to worry about those two benches, which is ideal. Now, I haven't put anything other than the stash box and the poster in this area. Everything else comes pre-made. Now, that is ideal for someone who doesn't have those benches, as I said, so it gets you started straight away. Now, you'll notice I can lock the doors. The foundations are a bit off. However, that's only so I can make sure I can get the doors in. I'll explain a bit later why that is. Now, as you can see, I've managed to raise the foundation slightly. I'll explain that again as well. Come upstairs, very simple. I've got full floors up here as well. All locked down. This is the only bench that you really require to put in the weapons bench and the tinkers bench. As I said, the other ones are already here. These builds are ideal, as I said, for early game. And because it's a pre-built structure, it can't be destroyed downstairs, which is perfect. There is some downfalls to this because of the walls not being able to actually glitch through some of the assets. In the pre-made, you do have gaps, however, these are higher up and you are still protected, so don't worry too much about it. If you don't know how to get the brick walls, or the metal walls, or the metal security doors, I have videos on them already, check them out just now. As you progress, they are worthwhile, but if you're fighting a Scorch Beast, etc., it's not going to make a bit of difference. Now, as I said, this is very close to Vault 76, and one of the better workbenches, because it gains you a lot of junk. So it's ideal, early game, start off, get up here, and get yourself sorted straight away. Now, I'll show you part of the build now, and I'll let it run through to the rest. Now I've left foundations and these walls in place just to show that the foundation has actually risen from the, the first foundations that you'd put in. Now you're going to want to put these foundations in and keep playing around with it until you can get the door to actually fit in. You won't be able to get any walls in the side because of the balcony like shelter that's above it. But don't worry about it, you're just going to lock this area down and use the, the actual standard benches that are in there. Now I'll show you what I mean here with the foundation. If you try and level this out, it stops from letting you do it because of the crates in the bottom left. So you just have to play around with it. As you can see here, it won't work just now because the foundations are slightly a little bit higher. But if I drop that down just a bit, move it in, bang, done. Oh, it's easy as that. That is your fully secure. Now you could just put these doors on and just use this inside area and that means your build budget will be practically nothing, which is it's perfect so if you're not someone who's interested in building a base this could quite literally be the cheapest base you'll ever find and just cram all your workbenches in here however i have built on because some people do like to use these premium structures and build up from it so i will go through the first part of it and just let it run through because i don't want to bore you to death it's quite self-explanatory just watch it piece by piece you'll see here I've leveled the stairs up, I've risen them a bit, simply so I can put stairs in and have the floor running off of it. This allows me to then put floors up above. If I've glitched the floor into the actual balcony or canopy, it will not work. So you have to go slightly above, just bear that in mind. Now, as I said, for some of these sections, it will not let you put full walls in, so you're going to have to put half walls. Now, you can put the triangle like roof pieces in as well in some instances, but for this area, you can't do it. So we're just going to have to bear with it and use it. If you have time, you, I'm sure you could probably play around with it a bit more and may, maybe just get there. But for this build, it's just to show the principle of using this garage more than anything. Now, as I said, you'll have to play around with it. Now, you'll find later on that in parts, the walls will not go brick to brick. They'll try and switch round. Now, to beat that, you're going to have to take the wall above or below down then put the wall back in place that you they kept switching around. It's very glitchy, it's very annoying. It's, I don't know why it does it in Fallout 76, but it does. It's just something you have to bear with for the moment. 
Now, as I said, this is just a demonstration piece to show you what you can actually build. I'm going to leave it there for now. Just let, let, watch it all the way through. Use this as a concept to get ideas. It's just showing you the pre-made buildings that you can actually use. A lot of people struggle with the build budgets, but these pre-made buildings actually help quite a lot and they're very secure. Now, I've got two more pre-builds to make, then we're going to call it quits in this series. But a lot of people on the Discord, the link is below, are suggesting a lot of other areas which are actually really good. So by all means join, see what they're suggesting, they're building in there as well, and just copy off them, see what builds they've done, see what experiences they've had, and you'll be fine. Now, for any AI in this area, it's low level scorched beast, eh, sorry, low level scorched ghouls, extremely easy to kill, you don't have to panic about that. I've had two super mutants come up this way as well, and they were level 5, so they're one shots if you're at a decent level. So guys, thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you in the next one.
Dracula.